All right, guys, so I finally made it. I am at the Crazy Horse Monument in South Dakota. At the monument, they have a little museum where they have all kinds of artifacts and history from the Dakota people, different Native American tribes as well. I saw some stuff from Seminole, Apache, just different tribes, different arrowheads, different things that they had collected. And they had lots of little sculptures of what the Crazy Horse Monument is going to look like in the future. When it has Crazy Horse on his horse, pointing like this little statue you have here. As you can see, it's not complete, but it is getting there. It is going to be an amazing monument when it's done. I should be able to see it by the time I'm old. When I'm an old man, it should be complete, hopefully. And then I'll come back and I would love to see this thing complete. The tribe members who run the facility and also do tours show you a lot of the great artifacts and history inside of the museum side, as well as actually giving you pieces of the Crazy Horse Monument as they chipped it away. There's basically pieces of granite that you can get as a souvenir while you're there that was a part of the mountain that they had broken away in order to make the Crazy Horse Monument. Now that to me is pretty cool. All right guys, so I'm at the Crazy Horse Monument. Look at that, there he is, Crazy Horse. And of course, after leaving the Crazy Horse Monument, I had to see Mount Rushmore. All right, I'm here, Mount Rushmore. It's as cool as I thought it was gonna be. Mount Rushmore was surprisingly completely free and also had a free museum that showed you how they built it and why they chose certain presidents for the monument. Now it's time to head out to the Badlands. All right, so I'm here in South Dakota in the Badlands. Sorry for the wind, but it's unavoidable. But this is what they call the Badlands. Look at this place. It looks like... There's a road going through Mars. There's my car. See what I mean? Jeez, I feel like I'm on the moon or something. So I'm out here on the Badlands and there's all these cows. I came up to this fence and they all came over to look at me. Look at all these cows. I can't believe that they all, look, look, they're still curious. They're a little hesitant, but they are very curious. They want to see what I am. This is the funniest thing ever. Please forgive the next part because it is incredibly windy and hard to hear what I'm saying, but I was so excited to see the Badlands. Look at this. Here in Deadwood, they have some pretty cool wood carvings. Of course, Wild Bill. But one of the other ones I really like here is the dragon from, I think it's called How to Train a Dragon. And man, look at this thing, super cool. This is Deadwood in a nutshell. A mixture of tourism and history. Walking over to the cemetery right now to go see the grave of Wild Bill. So that's gonna be pretty cool. The actual saloon where Wild Bill was shot back in 1876 is still standing to this day. And you can walk in and you can have a drink. You can listen to old timey music. You can see all kinds of cool artifacts when you walk in. A fun fact about Wild Bill is his hand he was playing when he got shot while playing poker. It's called the Dead Man's Hand, famously. It's two aces and two eights, both black, and forever now, they are known as the Dead Man's Hand. Here lies Calamity Jane. Look at that. There's a horseshoe. There's a couple bullets. There's an empty bottle of whiskey. That is so crazy. My first sunrise out here in Wyoming. I'm right outside of Sundance, Wyoming, famous city. And man, it is just gorgeous.
I love these cold mornings. I see why it's called Sundance. The sun's rays bounce off everything and the colors are incredible. Well, I hope you all liked my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Thanks.